Check out these chompers here. <laughs> Saw a beaver at the edge of the pond from the deck of the house. We had a massive bonfire an hour earlier, a few hundred yards away from the pond. I was really surprised anything would show up tonight. Hunting beavers with a gun is a waiting game if you intend to keep the pelt. I thought I had an opportunity here, but he quickly slipped back in. I watched him swim around for about 15 minutes when I saw him crossing the pond with a limb. This was actually a really cool video to watch. This could be my opportunity if he got to the shoreline. Dang it, it's too far out. Don't sink. Watching him float toward the open area of the pond, I figured he would probably sink. I threw my drone up in the air the next morning. The bonfire was still smoldering. If the beaver was floating in the middle of the pond, I planned on attaching something to the drone so I could drag him in. Luckily, I found him right next to the shoreline. I actually noticed um, that this beaver was building a dam at one of our culverts over there. Oh, this is another big one. Dang, this guy's big. Oh my gosh, he's bigger than the last one. We actually don't mind them damming up that part because that goes into a major creek. But when they start damming up by the culvert, it really messes with the house's system here. Come here. Oh, oh my gosh, another big beaver. Look at this thing. So slimy. Ugh. I've looked everywhere to find this bullet. He was this direction when I shot him, and I was aiming a little high because of his uh, close distance, and I was just sitting up on top of the dam. I've even looked on this side, and I can't seem to find an exit. So that cutting bullet, cutting edge bullet, may be sitting in him. So uh, check out these choppers here. <laughs> By the way, for those of you that have been asking about the mount that I've got on my Primo's trigger stick, this is a 99 cent Amazon strap. It's the one inch version. That's the wider buckle. Let me show you how I did this real quickly. And it, does, it is self-supporting. And now that I've buckled it, it's not. But uh, let me show you how this works. All you do, don't fall rifle. That would be bad. Uh, let me undo this over here and untick this plate apart. Sorry, one handed, not the best. So this bottom plate comes off of the Y mount here. And I basically ran that strap through there and drilled a tiny little hole for that hex key to go through there. And then I just re-singed it and make sure you cinch it on there really tightly. And I've never had issues with this. And it's a good, ac it's not as accurate as my hog saddle for sure, but this thing definitely is awesome for um, when I'm doing a lot of spot and stocking. Here's another view of it here. And uh, I keep about a quarter inch off of there. So there's a flexibility to move it up and down uh, like this. And what's awesome is if I want to carry this, all I do is get this off of the mag well. Come on back a little bit. And I carry it in field just like this. And so uh, it's a good system. At 85 yards, the cutting edge 125 grain Maximus bullet whopped this beaver just under 2,600 feet per second, delivering 1,874 foot-pounds of energy. This is the second largest beaver removed from this pond. I've got a few projects in the works, so be patient. Until then, stay tuned for my next adventure.